There's a lot to cover tonight, beginning in Tampa, where dozens gathered to mourn and pray together. They held a vigil for a man who was just riding his bike when he was hit and killed two nights ago by a driver who's still at large. But our Chad Mills found out why the families is now confident that justice will be served. And the family members who were here described the man who was killed as a crazy man in the best way possible. Someone who loved to fish, someone who loved to help his neighbors and was in fact going to the store to pick up something for a neighbor when he was killed. There is power in the name of Jesus. The community remembers a man who was loved by so many. I just want to talk to my brother and I can't I see he's he not going to be able to answer the phone when I call him. 57-year-old Daryl Lawson was riding his bike Tuesday night when he was killed in a hit and run too disturbing to fully show. It happened near the intersection of 19th Street and 21st Avenue near Ybor City. According to Tampa police, the driver did not stop and is still at large. I can't hold hate in my heart because I'm a woman of God. I want to hate. You hear me? I want to hate. I want to despise this person. Part of the reason they gather here is to remember Lawson. Bring every chain. But they're also here to ask the community for help finding the driver of the car, a light blue, gray, or possibly silver sedan. And they're here to send a message straight to the driver. Hell has no fury and rage like mine. It's best you turn yourself in because I'm coming. I know people in high, low places and cracks and crevices. You can run, but you can't hide. Right now, they still wait for justice, but they are confident it will be served. Lawson's widow says Tampa detectives are working the case nonstop. I have faith and I trust in them. If you have any info or video possibly related to the hit and run, you're asked to call Tampa police or Crime Stoppers of Tampa Bay. In Tampa, Chad Mills, ABC Action News.